in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. You are listening to Daily Bread Devotions with Father Eustace Yame, a selection of Don Bosco. Your word, Lord, is a lamp for my steps. Stay tuned. Mary, did you know that your baby boy would one day walk on water? Mary, did you know that your baby boy would save our sons and daughters? Did you know that your baby boy It is Saturday, the 25th of March, 2023, the Feast of Annunciation. And today again, we break from land to think about that moment when God decided to come down and converse with humanity and made a pact to dwell among men through a woman. Oh, what a day that was. The Annunciation of the Blessed Virgin Mary and participating in the proclamation of the Word of God for today are the following Daily Bread members. Frederick Mulenga Chongo Lukonde from Lusaka, Zambia, celebrating his birthday today, takes for us the first reading. Mary Breu celebrating her birthday today from us in Foso in Ghana. Text for us the responsorial psalm. Geraldine Obi Nwagu from London, United Kingdom, celebrating her birthday today. Text for us the second reading. And proclaiming the gospel is Father Fabian Musonda from Kawe Diocese in Zambia. Let us pray. O God, who willed that your word should take on the reality of human flesh in the womb of the Virgin Mary, grant we pray that we who confess our Redeemer to be God and man may merit to become partakers even in his divine nature, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Behold, a virgin shall conceive. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 7, verse 10 to 14. Then chapter 8, verse 10. In those days, the Lord spoke to her as, Ask a sign of the Lord your God. Let it be deep as shoal, or high as heaven. But her has said, I will not ask, and I will not put the Lord to the test. And he said, Hear then, O house of David, is it too little for you to weary men, that you weary my God also? Therefore, the Lord himself will give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. Take counsel together, but it will not come to naught. Speak a word, but it will not stand, for God is with us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm Psalm 40 verses 7 to 8a 8b to 9 10-11 The response is Psalm 8 a nine e and the response is see i have come lord to do your will see i have come lord to do your will see i have come lord to do your will You delight not in sacrifice and offerings, but in an open ear. You do not ask for holocaust and victim. Then I said, See, I have come. See, I have come, Lord, to do your will. See, I have come, Lord, 
to do your work. In the scroll of the book, it stands written of me. I delight to do your work, oh my God. Your instructions lies deep within me. See, I have come, Lord, to do your work. See, I have come, Lord, to do your work. Your justice I have proclaimed in the great assembly. My lips I have not sealed. You know it, O oh Lord. See, I have come, Lord, to do your will. See, I have come, Lord, to do your will. Your saving help I have not hidden in my heart. Of your faithfulness and your salvation I have spoken. I made no secret of your merciful love, your faithfulness to the great assembly. See, I have come, Lord, to do your will. See, I have come, Lord, to do your will. Second reading, I have come to do your will, O God, as it is written of me in the roll of the book. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Hebrews chapter 10, verses 4 to 10. Brethren, it is impossible that the blood of bulls and goats should take away sins. Consequently, when Christ came into the world, he said, Sacrifices and offerings you have not desired. But a body you have prepared for me, in bond offerings and sin offerings, you have taken no pleasure. Then I said, Behold, I have come to do your will, O God, as it is written of me in the roll of the book, when he said above, You have neither desired nor taken pleasure in sacrifices and offerings, and bond offerings and sin offerings. These are offered according to the law. Then he said, Behold, I have come to do your will. He abolishes the first in order to establish the second. And by that will he have been sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Gospel Acclamation Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have beheld his glory. Glory and praise to you. Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Luke chapter 1, verse 26 to 38. At that time... The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Hell, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at the saying, and considered in her mind what sort of greeting this might be. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. He will be great 
and we will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give to him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there will be no end. And Mary said to the angel, How will this be, since I know not man? And the angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, your king's woman Elizabeth in her old age has also conceived a son, and this is the sixth month with her who was called barren. For with God nothing will be impossible. And Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be done to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Do you know what we are celebrating today in this Annunciation? We are celebrating the fact that life begins at conception because the moment that announcement was made to Mary and Mary said yes, that was the incarnation. That was the incarnation because the word was becoming flesh and dwelling among us through the woman who said yes to that word. We are celebrating today the dignity of human beings. We are celebrating today the fact that God decided to honor each one of us by becoming us. When he chose nine months before his birth to come into a woman in Nazareth in a particular place, he dignified humanity. He made us special. He made us understand that there is nothing wrong in being human. And that being human is not an excuse. It's not an excuse to do things wrong. It's not an excuse to be frail. To say I'm a human being. Anyway, it happens. We are all human. As if being human is a terrible thing. No. Being human is a dignified thing. And I'm telling you, you can reclaim your goodness, your essential dignity. The reason why God decided to become man is because he believed in the fact that man can be good. And so he came to Nazareth and met a woman who was ready to collaborate in achieving that dignity for humanity. It was to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary, a name which means the beloved. A woman who was the beloved of God. And she received that news, of course, with a bit of disturbance because that was strange. It was going outside her plans. But uh, this is exactly what happens. You may have your own plans. You may have your own way of doing things, but God will come your way to make his plans in you. All he's asking of you is your yes, your obedience. God just wants us to trust in him. To understand that when we trust in him, big things are going to happen in our lives. How much do you trust in his plans? Or maybe you don't know that he has any plan for you or for your life. And you have been trusting in human beings. You have been relying on human beings instead of relying on the power of God in your life. Mary had her own plans. She didn't know God had some other plans. That's why she was even able to question, how can it be since I know no man? How will this be since I am a virgin? Meaning, I don't have any access to a man. Yes, I am betrothed. That's all. 
Somebody came and engaged me. I am a good woman. I'm not like other women who before engagement, they are engaged in something. I am unlike them. No, I am a virgin still, despite the fact that Joseph has come to engage me, but I am not yet committed to him. So how will this be possible? My dear young ladies, learn this from Mary. I don't know you have lost what our parents had. I don't know you have lost something about your own dignity. Even if you are so close to somebody, it doesn't mean that you should start engaging in something that is supposed to be kept for marriage. This should be clear. And maybe it's not stressed in our time. We want a Mary again to arise in our world today where people are taking things lightly. By the time the engagement ring is being put on a finger, a lot of things have happened. Even the whole syllabus is finished. And we want to say, Lord, help us to come back to your original plan. Help us to be like Mary, who trusted that God has his own time. And in his own time, he will do something. And while I wait, I keep myself. So that if the angel Gabriel came to me, I would declare with confidence, I have done my best to keep myself for that one whom you have prepared for me. The angel answered Mary, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. Because it is the Holy Spirit. That is the full trust in God. To say it is God who is going to operate on you. It is God who is going to work on you. Not your own strength. Not your own power. That is the overshadowing. And we want that overshadowing. Where we allow God to work in us. Where we make our human power to be put on silent, on vibration, and let God's power to work in us. This is what Ahaz did not know. That young Ahaz was given an embarrassing choice to make in his life. Whether to trust in men or to trust in God. Ask God for a sign and he's going to give you. But Ahaz looked at what was coming. He looked at the power he had. He looked at the people around him and he said, oh, no, 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 no. I will not put the Lord, my God, to the test. No, 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 no. I'm not going to do that because I know this is too late to rely on God. He's not different from you. Ahaz is not different from you when you start looking for human solutions, when you start looking for simple answers to your question, your complex question, you start bribing people to get a job when the Lord is saying, trust in me. Rely on my power. Do not give anyone any money. The job I'm going to give you will surprise you. When he's telling you, don't do that. Don't give your body to anyone. I am going to do something big in your life. It's a choice placed before you. You are looking at the bills. You are looking at the trouble you are facing right now. And you are saying, will I make it? Yes, you will make it. Trust in the Lord and he's going to give you something that is going to last. Don't chain yourself to human beings. Don't chain yourself to anything, but be trustful. And God is going to show you how powerful he is, how he's able to change your condition, to change your situation. That spirit of God will overshadow you and you are going to see something big happening in your life. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, World without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father 
and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed Saturday to you, and happy Feast of the Annunciation. Thanks be to God. Mary, did you know that your baby boy is Lord of all creation? Mary, did you know that your baby boy would one day rule the nation?